What is enlightenment? What is this obscure term? What is its experience? Islamically speaking, this is synonymous with reaching the state of fana and ending at baka. It is the station of awliya and the station of prophets. So what is this? And how does one get there? To see what enlightened ones see is to see exactly what you see now. The difference is a recognition of what actually is due to an absolute awareness in the immediate moment. This arrives once our ignorance is removed. Humans are never aware of the immediate moment. They never sink into the moment and recognize instantly what is and has always been right before them, the absolute truth. The enlightened ones journeyed with immense and great effort to know themselves. This process of knowing is called self-inquiry. This self-inquiry is the sincere and vigorous internal investigation of your beingness, the subtle sense, I am. This intense self-inquiry is what the enlightened ones have always taught. One says to oneself, I am a believer of this or that religion. Well done, that's so great. Now investigate this I am. Who is this I am that believes in this or that religion? One says to themselves, I am an atheist. I'm not a believer in any religion or God of any sort. Well, that's great for you, pat on the back. Now investigate this I am that believes there isn't a God of any sort. Who is this I am which claims this? One says to oneself, I am agnostic. I believe there is a higher source, but don't believe in any religions. That's amazing. But now investigate this I am that believes there is a higher source, but doesn't partake in any religion. No matter what you've attached to I am, Investigate that I am, which claims what it is attached to. The sincere and vigorous investigation into the nature of I am, the nature of self, will itself lead to all answers. In one instant eternal moment, without a shadow of a doubt, this is a verifiable fact. This is the universal path from time immemorial. One says, I am Samuel, I am Jessica, I am English, I am Palestinian, I am Christian, I am Muslim, I am atheist, I am a non-binary silver werewolf, I am a man, I am a they, I am happy, I am sad, etc, etc, etc. Anything placed after I am is destructive to yourself because it is only a concept of your mind based only in memory from the past that one has clung to, which has no basis in reality and is not what is real in the now. Investigate this claim deeply and see this isn't opinion and instead personally verifiable fact. You are the verifier. You've just never bothered to verify anything because human society builds believers and not knowers. Human society doesn't teach internal knowing of self. It teaches attachment to ideas given. A completely destructive cycle. Stop believing in and accumulating more concepts for a while. Just stop. Then truly investigate yourself and all that you've gathered. As if your life depended on it. Investigate this I am in you. 
Investigate your beliefs. Question everything vigorously. Investigate your mind. Investigate your emotions. Investigate the nature of memory. Investigate sincerely how the energy of emotions and the memory of the mind latch on to each other and create positive or negative action. Investigate your concept of time. Investigate what your attachments are and how you've attached to them. Investigate who is the one attached to them. Investigate who knows within you. Investigate the one who loves and hates, who wants and needs all thoughts and desires. Investigate the whole and entire movement of thought. Investigate why thought speaks in first, second and third person. And whom is the speaker and whom is it speaking to? Investigate the thinker and the one who is aware of the thinker. Then investigate this subtle sense, the hidden, silent and still beingness that we call I am. Seek its absolute, absolute, absolute origin. This is the process. This is the method of he who knows himself knows God or know yourself to know God or know thyself which all leads to the pathless path to enlightenment really investigate to know thyself once the origin is found the I am is finally seen for what it is its actual complete fallacy and absolute non-existence the I am completely ceases to be a complete death of the observer and the observed. In this death of the I am is when all the answers arrive immediately with absolute unwavering clarity. The I am completely ceases to be a complete death of the observer and the observed. In this death of the I am is when all the answers arrive immediately with absolute unwavering clarity in a split second when the I am is recreated after it ceased to be. That is when you know what actually is and what actually isn't. But none can be said about that which is beyond all that which is and isn't. Once the I am ceases, there is no one to see or experience or know. What's left is unknowable unseeable, unchanging and eternal. This fact of reality you will know once the journey is made and in that there isn't a shred of doubt, nor shall you grieve or fear upon return. Now after journeying to the peak and back, you will see with the same eyes as enlightened ones, you will see your own non-existence while now fully knowing there is and never was such a thing as enlightenment. That's just a construct of the human mind. Because all there ever was is ignorance, meaning the ignoring of the truth in front of you, in you and around you. That truth is one, one eternal, unchanging perfection. The unknowable and unchanging is recognized and one sees how this state of enlightenment is in fact the most average and normal life experience one has always had and how its truth was completely and utterly stupidly missed. Words cannot explain the how, but you are all already enlightened. You've just forgotten about it because of the attachment to all the assumptions and beliefs contained in thought collected since what you believe and call birth. These beliefs are the source and cause of immense suffering for all humanity. You were before birth as you are now and will be after death as you are now. Perfect, eternal and unchanging. There is only now perfect, eternal and unchanging. There is no I am. This illusion of I am can be seen through completely by all people. This is verifiable fact. Investigate this moment of now, where I am resides. Knock on that door, wait till it opens. 
verify if this I am that you claim is yours has its own beingness at all. This is the task that Islam is meant to guide you down, to realize your own self of what is right before you, in you and around you, all that which is perfect, eternal, unchanging, unknowable, Bon voyage.